The B-21 Raider accomplished its first power on test in recent months, moving it another step closer to a first flight that is still scheduled to take place before the end of 2023. Northrop Grumman officials announced July 27. In Northrop's second quarter earnings call, CEO Kathy Warden said the company doesn't expect any profits on highly classified B-21 during the LRIP phase, due to the drag of inflation on the fixed price contract. However, she did report the company will receive $60 million from the Air Force to mitigate inflation on the project. We successfully powered on the first flight test aircraft in the quarter, Warden said, calling the development another important milestone in our campaign to achieve first flight and transition to production. Chief Financial Officer David Keffer added that we remain on track for first flight this year. Again, that timing continues to depend on events and data over time. We anticipate that first LRIP contract will be awarded following first flight. Keffer said the company will continue to look for efficiencies in the program and the timing of the LRIP contract will be informed by continued progress in driving efficiencies on the program as well as our understanding of that first LRIP contract lot and beyond. Warden added that some aspects of production have seen a 15% efficiency improvement due to the application of digital thread methods. Asked whether the LRIP phase of the B-21 will allow Northrop to break even, Warden said, We are not planning to have margin from the LRIP contracts. We still have the risk factor associated with B-21. As we look at inflationary impact, Warden added, In the quarter we did receive notification that the Defense Department has allocated $60 million for B-21 LRIP procurements due to inflationary impact and we expect that to be awarded later this year. But keep in mind this only applies to the one fiscal year. It's associated with FY 2023. And we continue to work closely with the government on an effort to address the impacts of macroeconomic disruption. Northrop's contract for the B-21 was awarded in 2015, and it calls for engineering and manufacturing development to be a cost-plus arrangement. But Northrop agreed to a fixed-price arrangement for the first lot of aircraft. Warden said there's very little financial backlog on the B-2 at the moment because EMD is winding down and the LRIP contract has not yet been awarded. Northrop and the Air Force rolled out the first B-21 in December 2022. Company officials said the time had come to reveal the top-secret airplane because it would soon be outside the factory for engine runs and taxi tests. However, there have been no reports of the bomber appearing beyond the walls of Northrop's Palmdale Caliph facilities in the seven months since. Not surprisingly, very little information is available when it comes to B-21 weapons. However, Austin did, of course, say it would be nuclear capable as an integral part of the air lathe of the nuclear deterrence triad. Senior Pentagon and Air Force leaders have also been clear that the B-21 will likely be armed with long-range, air-launched cruise missiles some of which could be nuclear capable as well. By referring to Intel and battle management, Austin was clear that the mission envelope for the B-21 will expand to include the ability to operate as a surveillance and Intel node in the sky gathering, processing and transmitting time-sensitive war detail across multiple domains as part of a meshed, integrated joint multinational war operation. It might seem like the stealthy Batwings B-2 bomber is being slightly eclipsed by the celebrated and much anticipated arrival of the Air Force's new B-21 bomber. Yet the service continues to take vigorous measures to ensure the small fleet of 20 B-2 bombers remain relevant, highly lethal and important to future operations. The B-2 bomber rolled out of the same factory in 1988 and did not fly until nine months later. Its first flight was from Palmdale to nearby Edwards Air Force Base Calif, which is the planned destination for the B-21's first flight as well. Air Force officials have said the B-21's initial flight likely will not be announced in advance, as the jet will fly when it's ready, but those officials also said an increasing tempo of outdoor testing will indicate that the first flight is close at hand. The first and perhaps most pressing reason for this can be understood in terms of timing and fleet size, as the Air Force has long planned to ensure the B-2 remains effective and flies alongside the B-21 until sufficient numbers of the new B-21 Raider arrive. 
while the Air Force is planning to add at least 100 B-21s. They will of course arrive incrementally over a number of years, and the Air Force cannot leave itself vulnerable with a problematic bomber deficit. In recent years, senior Air Force leaders have been clear that even at current and anticipated levels for the immediate future, there are simply not enough bombers to meet combatant commander demand. If you enjoy content like this, please like and subscribe this video as I appreciate all your support.